How can you visit the Canfield Fair without seeing some cows? Today, the fair held its annual Dress a Cow contest, where generations come out to partic participate in the fun. First News reporter Abigail Cloutier spoke with those involved about the long history of the event. It's hard to dress a cow and to keep the costume on a cow. But that's a huge part of what makes the annual Canfield Fair tradition so fun. The Dress a Cow contest has been going on since the 80s. Families dress up their beef and dairy cows in all kinds of fun costumes and parade them around the ring for judges. First News anchor Lindsay Watson was one of the local judges. Sports, movies, and even other animals were popular themes this year. We have people coming in just promoting the dairy industry, promoting the beef industry. Um, and they come up with such great creative ideas. Lori Kohler took over organizing in 1991. Generations of families participate every year. Kind of neat to see those kids, children now coming through and doing the, the, the class as well. And it's just a family tradition. Julia Bach and her family were one of the beef category winners this year. Her family has been doing the contest for over 20 years. My grandma started it when we were really little and there were about three of us and we just she just loved it and we got so excited to do it so we just kept doing it through the generations and now we got a lot of kids to do it with us. When I asked her how they came up with their fun costumes Bach tells me they like to do things like popular movies but the inspiration behind this year's nautical theme because the kids love pirates. <laughs> In Canfield, Abigail Cloutier, WKBN 27 First News. Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay Watson. Thanks for watching the WKBN 27 First News YouTube channel. If you want more video news, subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the WKBN 27 First News app for breaking news alerts.